Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be telling you the top five guns in Blocks Fruits. Before we begin, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's completely free to do so, and it also helps me out a lot. Let's get straight into the video. Take note that this video is completely opinion based, so, so tell me your top five guns in the comments below. Number five. The fifth gun in Box Fruits is none other than the Bazooka. You can get it in the first C from the Whisper Boss. I don't know the chance, percentage chance of getting it, but it isn't too low. Now, the reason why I put this as my fifth spot on the list is because there really isn't many guns. Most guns are <laughs> really aren't very good. Talking about the lack of guns, 3rd C has one gun, two, the 2nd C has about three guns, and the 1st C's got like seven or something, so it's not much to choose from. The Bazooka does AoE damage, so it's not bad for farming. As you can see, it shoots out a missile with a pretty good reload speed. Pretty good combo with this is... Pol Z and X, Bazooka X, Sharkman X Z, and either Great Sea Spear or Incendiary or Alpha Wave. Sorry. <laughs> to be fair, considering it comes from the first C, it's actually pretty good. So that is my fifth gun on the list. Number four. The fourth gun on my list is none other than the Bizarre Rifle. The Bizarre Rifle has some pretty good moves on it. It has the Hellfire Shower, which sprays lots of bullets and flames. It's basically the same as Bazooka's X, but much faster. And also the Heat Seeking Shot, which... <laughs> As you can tell by its name, it seeks out the enemy and turns and twists to the enemies. Plus, the reload speed for it is pretty fast. Here's the Heat Seeker again. Can miss every now and again. A pretty good combo with the Bizarre Rifle is Pole ZX. Bizarre Rifle ZX, Sharkman XZC. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage. It's not too bad for farming. It just lacks a little AoE, especially with the click, since it's single target bullets. But aside from that, it's a pretty good gun. Oh yeah, and you can get it from an NPC in the cursed ship in the second sea. Number three. The third best gun on my list is Kabucha. That's right. Usopp's weapon of choice. The giant slingshot. Kabucha has the flying firebird, which leaves a trail of fire behind it and explodes when it hits a target and the intense winds which is amazing for combos like Shisui combos and stuff like that which just pushes your opponent away and they cannot do anything they can't even dodge it with Ken Haki or Observation Haki and the flying the flying firebird cannot be dodged by Observation Haki either and just look how fast this reload speed is. That's pretty good if you ask me. Combo with it might be Pole ZX, Kabucha XZ, Sharkman XZC, but you, with the Sharkman moves you have to like teleport with Dark or something up there. see it's pretty good for combos. 
resistance to the enemy to not do anything, and I mean anything, during the intense win. You get this in the second sea on Usopp's island. It's kind of secret. It's far away from the main islands and it's very small and might be hard to spot. That's why Kabucha is third on my list. Number two. The second best gun in the game, in my opinion, is none other than the Serpent Bow. That's right. It's the only bow you can get in the third C. Or only gun, I should say. It does poison damage, so an initial shot damage of like 200-ish. And then some poison with five, 600 damage. And then the poison blast is like an explosion and then some tracking things. And then the snake bind is especially good for the combos and stuff since when they do it, they can't attack you for like two seconds. They can't use any move, really. Here's an example of Snake Bind again. Can't do anything, just doing whatever to them during the duration of the Snake Bind move. One downside of the Serpent Boat is that it has really low range. It might look like it goes far, but it does not. I'll show you from here, as you can see. It looks like it hit him, but the training dummy's health isn't going down at all. Not until I move closer, anyway. A good combo can be any stun move. That could be a bit Abyssal Darkness, Endless Hole, Hand of God, Electric Prison, into Snake Bind, then a click from Serpent Bow, Poison and Blast, and then your other moves. So here I'll show you. Bam, 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 bam. And there we go. Look how much damage that did. And another great thing about Serpent Bow is that it does poison. If you hit the target with it, the click ability, it takes away a lot of their dodges of Ken and they cannot turn their observation back on for a while. You get this in Hydra Island, which is where I am right now, by killing the Empress boss over there. Has a small chance of dropping it. That is why Serpent Bow is number two on the list. Number one. The best gun in the game, a surprise to no one, and favorited by everyone, the Ascidium Rifle. That's right, with max mastery of it, max gun stats and stuff, one click does about 3,000 damage. It does have a pretty low, pretty high reload speed. Being around two and a half seconds. But it's worth it. Also, the spiky bomb stuns the opponent for a pretty long time. Not as long as the snake bind, but still pretty good. And the acidic smoke stops the opponent from using moves while they immediately get hit with it. Both of these moves can make some nasty combos. I'll show you an example of it right now. One of the best combos with it is Pole ZX, Acidium Rifle Z Click X, and then Sharkman X Z C. I missed the click, but if it were to hit, it would do a lot of damage. It practically finished off the dummy. You can get a Sidium rifle with a small chance by destroying the factory in the second C. It is pretty good for farming since it does so much damage per click. So that is my top five guns in Blocks Fruits. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.